Hello there. Right, I'm going to show you a way to make insane amounts of credits, much, much more than what you're probably used to in this game. Uh, it's a bit of a spoiler, really, because it, it, you make money so fast that it gets you to, you know, all the big ships quite quickly. Those that you can buy, that is, without doing the grind for the, uh, for the rank. Um, but if that's what you want, this is how to do it. Right, first of all, where to go? Uh, you need to find a station somewhere that's offering kill skimmer missions. Now, they come and go um, as things change. So quite often, if you check the forums or whatever, you can find where the latest hotspot is. Or... Um, just search for war zones and um, uh, states recovering from war or you know, just had a war or whatever and often you find the, the skimmers there. Now some stations uh, when you get there there might only be one kill skimmer mission but once you've um, checked the mission board a few times suddenly they can increase on the other hand they can disappear so it's a bit of a lottery so the first thing that is worth worth putting in the effort if it's if you want to make lots of money to go on a hunt and hunt out one of these systems where you find the, the skimmers so you know I'm at Ozan terminal at the moment you could go there but the chances are by the time you get there it's changed so you're much better off finding your own ones um, right, um, so as a, as a guide, it's probably better to go away from the, you know, towards the edge of the bubble where things, you seem to get better rewards. And generally places where other people are not so likely to go. That's where I've always found the best um, payouts for things. Uh, right, so... Um, what do you need to do it? Well, I've done it in the basic Sidewinder uh, with no upgrades whatsoever and I made millions in it. I got killed quite a lot because it's not the best ship for it but you can make insane amounts of money as a noob on your first day if you just follow what, what I'm doing. Uh, but obviously the stronger the ship you've got the better so a ship with good shields and a bit of a tank is, is ideal. Um, if you're near the beginning of the game, you know, you can start in a Cobra and quickly upgrade to an Asp. Um, if you're towards the end of the game, Anaconda, uh, FDL, uh, Gunship, something like that. But well tanked out because you will take a bit of fire uh, from time to time. Uh, not not so dangerous that you're going to get killed, but um, you know it's just a thing to to look out for. Right, you also need a ship that can carry some cargo, because they're still giving mission rewards, and if you haven't got a cargo hatch, you can't take that mission. These mission rewards are right um, pain now because you can't use them for anything since they stopped using them for uh, engineers. And what's worse. If you've got them on, your, if you forget to get rid of them before you make your next sortie, then um, you get NPCs chasing after you for for that juicy cargo that you know two microwave c cooling hoses or whatever's in your hold, worth about 800 credits. So um, you know it's a bit of a pain. So one thing is make sure before you take off that you check your cargo hold is empty. It's it's not the end of the world. It just saves a lot of time and messing about because it's you get interdicted all the time when you when you've got them. Uh, the other thing you need is two um, missile launchers, not the seeker miss missiles, just the normal dumb fire ones. A uh, grade one or two is perfectly adequate. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I use a pair, one on each side, and um, you'll see how it works when we when we get down there. Uh, right, so the, the missions we're after is these skimmer ones, clean out the mush sentry skimmers, 
Um, what do the other ones say? Clean out, clean out is another word for it as well. They use corporate strike against the Green Party. Sounds very official, doesn't it? Corporate strike against poor old Skimmer. <laughs> they, they come up with them. As you can see here, this one's worth 5 million and you can take 20 missions at a time. And so, um, and they all count together. One sortie will get you 20 missions. So you could get 100 million if you picked and chose your, your missions, did a lot of mission logging or something. You get 100 million in one sortie, which is going to take less than 10 minutes. So that's why I'm talking about insane amounts of money. Uh, first of all, you have to rank up your um, local factions, these top four or whatever ones is at your station. At first, these missions, you won't see 5 million. You might see 50k or something like that. But quite quickly, you know, just take every one that they give you. Go and do the sortie 20 at a time. Come back. And each time the rank moves up until you're allied. And then you'll start to see them all generally in the range from 1 to 5 million. So that's an average of two and a half million each. So an average trip is going to be 50 million. And you can do, if you get a good station, I've done three in an hour. So you're talking 150. I've even peaked, I averaged over six hours, 170 million an hour. But I think they, uh, that was pre, before the last update. So it might have been nerfed a bit since then. But you can still make easy 50 or 70 million an hour easy i think it's probably a, if you if you concentrate and work hard at it you could probably make 100 million an hour even now uh right so let's get down there and see what happens so the the missions will tell you where to go i've taken them all from one faction uh they offer two factions here you can do both and then go to one station and then go do the other one and then come back again or you know, I I just find it more convenient just to do the one because I've got to know, you know, what you want to do is go down there, have a look at the stations and if they look too difficult, um, what you can do is just land a few kilometres away, go out in an SRV and um, you'll just find the skimmers guarding stash, you know, there's usually three or four at a time, kill those and uh, you get the mission rewards for that. That'll take you about an hour to kill 12 in the SRV. And then you can come back, forget that station, and do, you know, whatever one is easiest. So, um, you know, because some stations, you know, I haven't quite figured them out. The, you'll, you'll see um, how we do this one and how easy it is. Right, so first of all, I've got to um, navigate to the system. There we go. So off we go. So this whole thing's going to take about 10 minutes. So what's our time now? 22.19. So 20 past 10. Call it. Landing gear retracted. Right now, I've got bounties on me now, because you will get bounties doing it this way. You don't get bounties if you do it in the SRV, and happy to accept a lower... Um, earnings rate but uh, so when you've got the bounties on you the NPCs come after you for the, for the bounties and if you do it for long enough the last time I did it I accumulated half a million in bounties and it became a bit of a pain everywhere I went people were interdicting me for these bounties um, so you might want to low, lie low for a bit afterwards and then take a holiday from from the proceeds of your your work. Oops. close to the ground I think
Now this base we're going to is a high security one and that does sound a little bit scary but um, Fuel scooping. actually it's quite easy Fuel scooping using complete. this method. Fuel scoop disengaged. I think the reason you get the big payouts is because you're supposed to do it in an SRV. But there's nothing to say you have to do it like that. And as this way works, it's all within the rules of the game. Uh, this isn't an exploit, it's just doing what you're told. So yeah, before taking off, I did actually do it just before I started the, the video, but always check that inventory is empty. Oh, while I'm doing that, I've overshot. It's, it's always the same. The moment you take your eyes off it, you go over. It's like it, they're watching you. Yeah, the gravity in these planets, where I am, it just seems a bit weird. Uh, even keeping the throttle in the blue zone isn't enough. You still overshoot. You have to be very active with the throttle. That's if you want to do it reasonably quickly. As the gravity goes up and down, you, know, you have to keep opening and closing the throttle. And the moment you don't look, you overshoot. So there it is, Kagan or Kagan settlement here. Well, what you could do is um, go and wreck a uh, the stations before Orbital accepting before accepting any missions you know you can look on the mission board where they're going to take you then jump in the uh, in your ship and go and have a look at them you know you can fly around them they won't shoot you or anything as long as you don't go into the um, trespass zone right you'll notice I'm wanted now because even though this is an anarchy system so I wasn't wanted when I flew in um, the the area around the base is not part of the anarchy so you seem to have law and order there. Now sometimes you'll find ships patrolling. And it depends what ship. If it's a ship that you can tank, then go ahead and tank it. You know, it obviously depends what ship you've got. But if it's uh, something that looks a bit dodgy, uh, just jump back out and come back again. So you can see this time there's no ships there. So it's about 50-50, and it's different at different um, bases, so just, uh, I think that's a general rule though, if there's ships there, you can uh, uh, jump out and jump back again and get a different spawn. Um, another thing, if this is more than one ship there, often one's a transport ship, they're just patrolling. And quite often I've found that whatever ships are there, they, they fly away. They don't seem interested. You know, when you when you finished, you find that they've, um, you know, there's just their wake left behind. So I'm not too sure what that's all about, even if it's what you think is, you know, guard ships. But obviously you've got an anaconda or anything, um, gunship or something like that. You need to be pretty careful. You know, I wouldn't do this with them about... I would in this ship, but because it's pretty well tanked. They've got 4,000 megajoule shields, which can tank anything. Right, now, I've been here several times already today, and they've got to know me. Now, normally what happens is you can fly right into the trespass zone, uh, and you get the warning, and then you get the countdown. You've got so long before they start shooting you. Because I've been here a few times before, they'll prob they might start shooting me sooner. So y that won't happen to you. Um, so that orange thing, just if I put my dot on it, there, is the generator. My, what my goal is, is to take that out as quickly as possible. And that stops everybody from firing at me. So let's go and do that, see if they stop firing at me. Oh, get my weapons out. 
Let's forget when I'm talking. Under attack. Yeah, so normally you can, these lasers aren't that strong. Warning. So you just you have entered a trespasser. Just tank them. Come in, there's the thing, boom. He's gone. No I'm I've got the place to myself. So just get up. And there you can see all the little skimmers and and uh, stingers. I need twelve to complete all the missions. You have to be careful not to let your ship touch these skimmers. They, if they ram into you, you lose your shields in one go. So here comes some more now. And ideally, you want to try and pick them off one at a time. Incoming mission critical message. You can't help it when it's two together. Because it, it doesn't complete. always count them right. Incoming You're going to have to take all those together. Message. If you knock four all at the same time, sometimes that only counts as two. Is that enough now? Mission objective complete. I think that's it now. Incoming mission critical so message. when we look, all those 20 missions, all done. And my bounty is now up to 17,000 here. So that's it. There's a ship coming. He's too late though, whatever he wants. Whoops. Get my pips right. So just get out of there again. Uh, this is going to be the easiest 50 million you've ever seen. Uh, where are we going? Back to where we came from. Cannot comply. Oops, still got my weapons out. Frame shift drive charging. I'm still quite close to the ground, so I'll um, leave the point until last. Ready to engage. Come on. Four, three, two, one, engage. That's it. You get some um, people chasing after your bounties occasionally. Uh, just use a normal tactics for avoiding interdictions. You know, I always just drop out, boost, back into uh, super cruise. Just keep doing that until you get to the station. But in this ship, you know, it's an absolute beast. So, you know, I can just Fuel take scooping. anything. Fuel scoop disengaged. Oops, right. Navigation. Yeah, I've got the panels on a roller button and it's, you know, I keep rolling past it if I'm not careful enough. If you're wondering why the panels keep going backwards and forwards. There we go. Oh. As I said, you've got to be really careful on the throttle. You know, one moment you're not going fast enough and then all of a sudden you're straight over it. I've never really experienced this quite as bad as this anywhere else, so might be okay where you are. You can use Google or check the forums. They normally give you some idea of where all the skimmer missions are. Oh, I thought this was going to get nerfed in this, um, with this latest upgrade. They changed some things in the missions. So they've made it, you know, cut down the earnings rate a little bit, but, you know, 100 million an hour still is sort of disproportionate you know you, as I said you can you could start in a if you knew if you went through this video 
and learnt the basics of flying your sidewinder. You know, one hour in the res, perhaps to get a million. Orbital flight. So you engaged. need three million for a Cobra. So three hours in the res, get yourself a Cobra, and then down here, and you know, over a weekend, you could have, you know, a top spec Anaconda. You know, and I think when I started, it took me months to get that sort of money. And I played a lot. I didn't. I didn't look at any of the YouTube videos or anything. You know, I tried to find my own way. I think I'd been playing about a week, and I'd only made a thousand credits. <laughs> Kept going backwards. But then I, I think I finally saw the one on Res Farming Sidewinder to Anaconda in 24 hours. And I thought, oh, I'll have a go at that. But I didn't get my Anaconda in 24 hours, but it, the principles were good. got a docking computer but I tend not to use it for for these bases because it it's so slow it goes on a tour of the, the planet every time before it decides to line up with a pad you know I can put it right you know right over the spot and then you engage the docking computer and instead of just putting it down it turns upwards and goes up in the sky, does three laps of the place. Landing gear deployed. But the, I don't know whether it's the gravity here, but the, the ship just doesn't seem to from stick. Put it right on the pad in the blue. And then you've got to wiggle it about all over the place. It slides, slips. Right, starboard services. So it was uh, 10 20 when we set off, so that's 14 minutes. So uh, let's see what we got. So we started off with 990. Now we've got 43, so that was about 53 million. That's in fact 50 million is about average from from here. I think it'd be the same uh, anywhere else. So now it's just a question of um, loading up the missions again, and that's it. You can see the what sort of rates you get. Uh, on there. These ones have been a bit a bit low. So there's a question of um, mission logging if you want to f fill up quickly um, or you wait for the mission board to refresh. You know, it's up to you how you do that. 
I don't judge. I'm just showing what's possible. So, yeah, we got 50 million in, in uh, 20 minutes. And it takes anywhere between 10 minutes and half an hour to replenish the 20 million uh, missions. So, um, you know, say 20 minutes. So 40 minutes of 50 million. Yeah, so we're up to about 70 million an hour doing that. I mean, I, w I was a bit slow because I was talking. You know, if you really get it together and go fast, you know, you, can, you should be able to get in two trips an hour. I, I got, before when there was a lot more missions being offered, I got it down to about 20 minutes for the complete circuit. So I was making 150, 170 million an hour, something like that. And my record was six million, six billion, sorry, one billion in six hours. So there you go. Make what you will of that and have fun with it or don't do it because it all, you know, might spoil your game by having too much money. You can see I've got 27 billion in cash now. And, um, you know, I've got about half of that in a week. So uh, that's it. Anyway, I might see you in another video. So bye.